So the message could be relayed to the French authorities, wherever they are in France, that Nigeria is indeed a sovereign country, and as such, any form or attempt to compromise our inter territorial integrity will be resisted wholeheartedly. At this point, I want to stress, Nigeria was not colonized by France. Therefore, they have no business coming to toy with our lives here. We are aware that some vested interest was not happy with the gains made by the Nigerian government and especially our dear president, President Mohamed Buhari, in the fight against terrorism. As such, they began providing logistic support under, the human, under a cover called humanitarian whatever to the Boko Haram fighters. They also assumed the role of the mouthpiece of the Boko Haram terrorist group. They used their state medium to promote their nefarious activities and to give them the needed psychological boost. Claiming human rights for people that have been raised, trained to kill fellow Nigerians by them. The movement against slavery and terrorism wishes to state categorically and on unequivocal terms that France is indeed responsible for the resurgence of Boko Haram attacks in Nigeria. The movement against slavery and terrorism wishes to inform the president of France, Emmanuel Macron, that the world is indeed watching closely and we, especially Nigerians, are also watching very closely. And should the French authorities not halt the spread of terrorism in Nigeria, they the day of reckoning is indeed near very and cool. very, very near. Yes. We are also aware that the actions of France are hinged on economic benefits given the avalanche of economic resources in northeast Nigeria, particularly the Lake Chad Basin region. This is indeed an attempt at recolonization. What did I say? It is another attempt at recolonization by France after we have been colonized by Britain. We are not under France and we will not allow for France to come and colonize us again with, by violence, which by all standards is quarrel and won't stand the test of time because Nigerians will resist every move with passion. Let me pause here and give you one statistics. In March 2008, Listen to this quote and please put it on record and on your, on your medium. Without Africa, France will slide down into the rank of 23rd power of the world. That is, quote and unquote, former French president Jacques Chirac. Another quote and unquote, without Africa, France will have no history in the 21st century by Francois Mitterrand. This was a prophecy given in 1957. Now, I want to digress a little bit. In 14 African countries, 14 African countries are obliged by France through the colonial pact to put 85% of their reserves in the Central Bank of France. That is not enough for them. Under the French Ministry of Finance, in 2014, Togo and other 13 other African countries still have to pay the colonial debt, which they do not owe to France. African leaders who refuse to pay are either killed or victims of coup d'etat, and those who obey these oppressive conditions are supported and rewarded with a lifetime rulership and not leadership of their people. This strangulating colonial system offers France, please put it on record, a cash of about 500 billion US dollars. I mean 500 billion US dollars year in, year out, which they now in turn used to purchase weapons of destruction for fellow Africans and especially Nigerians for us to begin to kill one another. This is unacceptable to us. It is no longer tolerable. We will not accept it. Yes. And in the case for Nigerians to kill Nigerians, we say no to this. We say no. You cannot continue to use money from Africa to buy weapons, arms and ammunition for Nigerians and other African countries to kill themselves. We say no. I said we say no. no. We say no. We say no. The movement against slavery is also calling on United Nations to investigate the role of France in the spread of terrorism in Nigeria and the whole of Africa. France must also stop the sale of arms and ammunition to the Boko Haram terrorist groups in the interest of peace and tranquility. That is what we need for us to progress and succeed. This is on the heels that the bulk of the French NGOs operating in Northeast Nigeria are carrying out espionage activities and passing the same to the leadership of the Boko Haram terrorist groups on the instruction of French authorities because of their business interests. 
the, in the business of selling arms and munitions to Nigerians to kill Nigerians. Mm -hmm. The movement against slavery and terrorism is indeed saying enough is uh, enough. No. Enough is uh, no. enough. No. Enough is uh, no. enough. And France must stop the distasteful support it has been extending to the Boko Haram terrorist group in Nigeria, which is aimed at making Nigeria erupt in flames. And Nigeria will not erupt in flames. Instead, France will erupt in flames. Amen.